In this example, the complex numbers are given in different forms. So first you need to write them in the same form so that you can perform the operation. A. Apply the formula r cis theta equals r cosine theta plus ri sine theta to find the Cartesian form of the first complex number. 4 cis 120 degrees equals 4 cosine 120 degrees plus 4 sine 120 degrees i. Now apply the special trigonometric values of the angle of 120 degrees. Equals 4 multiplied by negative half plus 4 multiplied by root 3 divided by 2 i equals negative 2 plus 2 root 3 i. B. To find the polar form, you need to apply the formulas r equals the modulus of z equals the square root of x squared plus y squared and theta equals the argument of z equals the arctan of y divided by x. To write the second complex number in the polar form, use the Cartesian coordinates of the second complex number to calculate the modulus and argument. z2 equals 3 plus 3i three implies r equals root 3 squared plus 3 squared equals 3 root 2. And theta equals arctan 3 divided by 3 equals arctan 1 equals 45 degrees. Z2 equals 3 root 2 cis 45 degrees. C. In this part, you apply the formula for the product of two complex numbers in the polar form. You multiply two complex numbers in polar form by multiplying the moduli and adding the argument. Apply the rule on the two complex numbers, 4 cis 120 degrees, multiplied by 3 root 2 cis 45 degrees, equals 12 root 2 cis 165 degrees. Now you need to multiply the same numbers in the Cartesian form to find the Cartesian coordinates of the product. Use the distributive property and the powers of the imaginary unit. Negative 2 plus 2 root 3i multiplied by 3 plus 3i equals negative 6 minus 6i plus 6 root 3i minus 6 root 3. The last step is to separate the real and imaginary parts of the product. Equals negative 6 multiplied by 1 plus root 3 plus 6 multiplied by root 3 minus 1i. D. Two complex numbers in Cartesian form are equal if their real parts are equal and their imaginary parts are equal. In this part, you need to equate their real parts to calculate the exact value for the cosine of 165 degrees. 12 root 2 cosine 165 degrees equals negative 6 multiplied by 1 plus root 3. Now you need to express cosine of 165 degrees as a subject and rationalize the denominator to simplify the answer. Cosine 165 degrees equals negative 1 plus root 3 divided by 2 root 2 multiplied by root 2 divided by root 2 equals negative root 2 minus root 6 divided by 4. E. In order to find the tangent value, first you need to find the sine value. To find the sine value, you need to equate the imaginary parts of the complex numbers. 12 root 2 sine 165 degrees equals 6 multiplied by root 3 minus 1. Express the sine of 165 degrees as a subject and rationalize the denominator to simplify the answer. Sine 165 degrees equals root 3 minus 1 divided by 2 root 2 multiplied by root 2 divided by root 2 equals root 6 minus root 2 divided by 4. Use the formula tan alpha equals sine alpha divided by cosine alpha and apply it for the calculated values of sine and cosine of 165 degrees. Tan 165 degrees equals root 6 minus root 2 divided by 4 divided by negative root 6 minus root 2 divided by 4. Now you need to rewrite the fraction in a simpler form and rationalize the denominator by using the conjugate expression. Equals root 2 multiplied by root 3 minus 1 divided by negative root 2 multiplied by root 3 plus 1 multiplied by root 3 minus 1 divided by root 3 minus 1. Reduce the numerator and denominator by the common factor. Multiply the expressions and simplify your final answer. Equals negative 3 minus 2 root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 
equals negative 2 plus root 3.